Hey, 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 everybody. Liz Peepito here. Hello, hello, hello. If you're watching the replay, type in replay down below. I'd love to say hi to you if you're watching on YouTube. Hi, hi, YouTube. So I have something I want to share with you today. Um, it was actually something that I listened to from one of my mentors last night on YouTube, and I was like ruminating on whether or not I needed to share it with you guys. And then God gave me some confirmation today um, in the form of, if you saw my post earlier, um, I went and had a massage. And it was such a blissful, wonderful time to just be able to be there and relax. And whenever I was leaving, I looked around in the parking lot and I noticed that all the cars in the parking lot at this massage therapy place where I was, they were all high-end cars, BMWs, Lexus, there was a Tesla there. Um, these were all the customers that were there um, at the massage place. And so God was just like doing this number to me about what I want to talk to you about. And what I want to talk to you about is the law of association. So John Maxwell actually calls it the law of modeling. Um, but let's just, let's just call it for the law of association. So let me ask you this question. I want you to be honest and, and, and I want you to answer me. Are you going through a hard time right now? Okay. And if you are going through a hard time right now, were you going through a hard time a year ago? Okay. And the, I, I want you to do some self-reflection right here because I see the same people who were constantly struggling, constantly broke, constantly sick, constantly having an emergency or constantly having, you know, a really hard time, hard time, okay? And, and I, I want to first of all say that it is very normal to have seasons where you go through struggle, you know, especially when you're breaking through to new levels. Like if you read my post earlier or yesterday, I've had a double ear infection this week and I know exactly why I have a double ear infection because I'm one of those weird wonky people who believe that there's almost always a spiritual reason for every illness. I know, I'm a weirdo. I'm also a registered nurse of 23 years, so give me a little bit of grace, but um, I know that because I've been pressing in spiritually with my relationship with the Lord and really, really yielding to the hearing the Holy Spirit, that that's why my ears got attacked. I'm crazy. Just let me be. Okay. But that's just a, a temporary thing to, until so I can push through to the next level. Okay. So let's get back to the topic. Law of association. Okay, one of the reasons why I'm not suffering today with it, with the, my ears is because yesterday, instead of feeling sorry for myself, which I kind of wanted to do, I decided to just worship all day and listen to some really amazing uh, teachings from my mentors. Okay, so back to the question: Are you going through a hard time, and have you been going through a hard time for a, for a long time? If you are, I want you to take an inventory of the people that you give your time to the most. I'm talking people on Facebook. I'm talking people that you hang out with. I'm talking your family and friends, people that you give your time to, okay? Because you are the sum of the five people that you give the most time to, okay? And I love this, guys. You can give your time to people that you don't, you've never met. It's like, I give most of my time to my husband and my daughter, and then the other three people, I don't get to see every day. They're my mentors via YouTube, okay? I give them at least six to eight hours of my time a day when I'm getting ready in the morning, when I, you know, am doing my work, I've got it playing in the background, before I go to sleep at night. All night long, I play things that are in the background while I'm sleeping so that I can be exposed to positivity, okay? So, one of my mentors, my, actually my coach, Matthew David Hurtado, when I first started working with him about a year and a half ago, he had me sit down and make a list. So I would love for you guys to do this, okay? If you're going through hard times, I want you to make a list of every person that you are exposed to every single day, okay? 
And I want you to make two columns on a piece of paper. Keep it simple, just two columns. So you're just gonna be like, you're gonna list their name and then you're gonna have a column like that. Keep it simple, their name over here at a column. When you leave your meeting with them or you finish your conversation with them or you read a post that they've made on Facebook, when you when you leave, how do you feel? Do you feel uplifted or do you feel do you feel good or do you feel worse? Good or bad? How do you want to say that? Um, so what is the feeling you get after you leave that exposure to them? Okay. And I know that sounds a little bit crazy, like, but I don't care. I want you just to test, test me out on it. Because over the last two weeks, I have to do this about every six months. But over the last two weeks, I realized how much negativity I had on my Facebook personal timeline. If you know me, you know I build my business through Facebook. So if I'm on Facebook a lot because that's how I get paid, okay? So um, I, every, about every six months, I have to go through and unfriend a lot of people. So I may not be seeing, you may be watching this, and I may not even be seeing your posts. And that doesn't mean I don't want to be your friend anymore. It just means that I have, maybe I have noticed that most of your posts are negative. Most of your posts are complaining about something or griping, even venting, okay? So um, I'm not gonna unfriend you, I'm just gonna unfollow you for a while. And then I'll check back in a couple months and see if you've gotten over your funk. And, um, or, you know, and here's the thing guys, I'm not gonna unfollow somebody who posts something one time. If most of their posts are fun, uplifting, educational, neutral, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you on there. But guys, you have the right to protect your personal space. So clean up your friends list, clean up the people that you spend your time with. Like I used to have a group of girlfriends and all we would do is sit around and gripe about our job. That's all we did. Every time we got together, we would spend hours talking about everything that was wrong with our job. And that was not a positive thing. You know what that was doing? That was bringing more problems to our job <laughs> because it, you attract what you give space to. So anyway, I hope this video made sense. I just want to say the law of association is a very, very real thing. Who you choose to give your time to is so important to your success. So again, if you have been in a funk for longer than a week or two or three, then I can almost guarantee you it's because you're giving your time to negative people, okay? It's like, and again, it's so easy to find positive people. If you have a smartphone, you have access 24 hours a day, seven days a week to positive people via social media because of the choices you make on who, you, who shows up in your, on your feed and also through YouTube, through Instagram, I went through on Instagram, sorry, I'm not real active on Instagram, so I went through like a month ago and I wiped everybody out. I only have like, I think 20 people that I follow right now and it's all very, very um, inspirational, motivational people. So when I go to Instagram now, I'm using it as a dream skateboard. I'm using it as like dreaming. I have, I'm following lake houses. I'm following billionaires. I'm following all that. See what I'm saying? Like I want what everything, I'm, I'm very picky about what, where I spend my time. So I love you guys. Pay attention to who you're giving your time to. Make that list like we talked about. Make that list. How do you feel when you leave a conversation with somebody? And if, if, most of the time you're leaving a conversation and they brought you down, you need to limit your time with them. Okay? I love you. Quick tip. Have a great day. All right. Bye-bye.